Question number six um, is assessing our ability to rewrite expressions. We have to find the expression is not equivalent to four times the quantity seven plus x. I list several properties of real numbers that we should be familiar with. The commutative property of addition multiplication, which means we can change the order of them around. Um, I'm listing that property here and you can see, and you can test with some actual numbers, but you can switch the order of addition and multiplication around without changing its, its value. I call that the change order. The CO is a commutative property, the CO and the commutative. We also have an associative property. The associative property says that you can change the grouping of the numbers um, without changing the result. So you can see we can change uh, what the grouping symbols are parentheses, whether we put A plus B in parentheses, then add C, or we get the same result if we would regroup and put B and C inside the parentheses and then add A. And it follows for multiplication as well. And that is our change grouping or change group associate property. Think of people you associate with, your group that you um, hang out with. And our other property is a distributive property. We've used this quite frequently this year already. Uh, but the distributive property says that we can um, distribute multiplication over addition and subtraction. I think a lot of times we bypass this definition that we distribute multiplication over the addition or over subtraction. So Make sure that if you're going to use a distributive property that you have a situation where you're going to be multiplying because you have the A next to the parenthesis and you have addition inside the parenthesis so we can distribute the multiplication over addition. So in this problem we got to find which one it's not equivalent to so there will be several properties that they're going to illustrate here for us. In our selection A and really there's not a whole lot of choice on these you just have to find the one that isn't the same. We'll look at and assess the, the difference in how they wrote it. The only thing that has changed is the 7 plus x was second to begin with, and now it becomes first. So the 4 and the 7 plus x have changed positions. Now this is an example of the multiplication property, uh, changing the order, our commutative property for multiplication. So that one is equivalent. We're going to have to pass that one up. The second one, choice B, 4 times the quantity x plus 7, the only thing that they change in this is the order of the addition. So again, they're utilizing the commutative property and we can change the order of addition without changing our outcome so that property is still in effect so that's a, that one's still good um, the next one in letter C what have they changed here well it looks like they've done two different changes um, from the original problem that we had they changed the multiplication of four that came first and now it comes second and then they took the parentheses or the stuff in parentheses 7 plus x and put it first and then also they turn this around as well. So we've got those two things going on where we have two commutative properties. And letter D. Letter D says what they're going to do is change what was inside the parentheses. They're going to change the 4 and the 7. So can you change that order between the 4 and the 7 even though they're inside the parentheses? And this one obviously is the one that we want to select as not being equivalent. It doesn't utilize any of our rules correctly. And just to put a plug in for the distributive property, that's exactly what letter E is. If you take your 4 and distribute it to your 7 plus x, you have 28 plus 4x. And they use the distributive property. Again, with the commutative property, they change the order. 4x plus 28. So they do like to test and assess your ability to look at your real number properties of commutative, associative, and distributive property. Um, and they ask you in this problem to find the one that isn't correct, which is letter D.